Hello viewers to the John Levine website. First of all, welcome indeed. I don't suppose you'll be seeing this until January or February of 2011, but I'm driving my old Cadillac Coupe de Ville and I'm driving her down Olive Avenue, which is the main street in Burbank, and I will be going past Warner Brothers and Walt Disney a little soon. And I am on my way to the Braille Institute. I've become the new audio book reader at the Braille, which is on Vermont Avenue, which is off of Sunset Avenue, or Sunset Boulevard. And I just wondered if, uh, if I shot this footage, for those of you that live in the middle America or the East Coast, you may not have seen the Sunshine State of California. So I will be putting this camera on and off. Okay, just a little bit of uh, romantic uh, images coming up. This is uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, we are down on now Hollywood Way. To the left, over there, is Warner Brothers. And uh, what a beautiful place it is. We are coming up to Barham Boulevard. And this is the road where so many of the movie stars come down to go into the studio to make their epic movies. Here we are, look, these. There's the main gate, the main gate of Warner Brothers. And I think we're going to see a Robert Downey Jr. ad coming up. There it is, look, the uh, due date. But here we are, as I said before, just gently coming up to Barham Boulevard in Hollywood on my way to the Braille Institute to read yet another wonderful book. Okay, uh, listeners or viewers, we are up to the top of Barham Boulevard. Look how beautiful it looks. Of course, my camera is in a very fortuitous uh, position. You can see the bonnet of my old 73 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. You can see the navy blue shine. She's a little worn now. She's 1973. And we are coming up now to Universal Studios, the huge, the huge uh, lot of Universal with all of its theme park. And we are coming up to that right now. And this is, as I said, the very end of Barham Boulevard. And this is where most of the famous actors, of course, are driven in their limousines to the stages of Warner Brothers and, of course, down here to Universal Studios. I will, of course, be turning right onto the famous 101. I will be heading north, and then I get up onto Sunset Boulevard. So in the meantime, let me just switch the camera off again as we are in a traffic jam at the moment. I'm thoroughly enjoying showing you this. As I said before, I'm on my way to the Braille Institute as one of the very few English accents they have to record books for the blind, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, here we are then. We're just, uh, I think you'll be able to see by the signs if your eyes are quick enough, that uh, we will be indeed turning on to the 101, in fact, it's south, I said north. It's actually south. So here we turn the corner to, and down, whoa, the camera slipped then, excuse me, everyone. Right down there, those big buildings, that is Universal Studios. And this little garage here is where I used to get my my petrol when I worked down at Universal Studios 10 years ago. But now we're turning on to the famous 101. It's going to be pretty jammed, so for now, I will just turn off the camera because i got a feeling the sun is going to hit us right in the face. Yes, it is, so we'll switch off for now and see you soon. Bye-bye. We're back again. Uh, I don't know what you can see. I cannot see very much in my viewfinder at this moment. All I know is that we are now going down. I wonder if you can see that sign there, Hollywood Avenue and the Hollywood Bowl. It's always romantic to me, even though I've lived here for 20 years. Coming up is Hollywood Boulevard, ladies and gentlemen. Hollywood Boulevard. I will be turning off onto Sunset Boulevard in about a mile and a half. All, of course, around here are all the supposedly famous landmarks where all the famous actors have died or lived or murdered somebody. So we are now just, as I said, on the 101. I think it looked pretty good on the viewfinder. And we will be turning right onto Sunset Boulevard. In fact, here are the signs now. So, Sunset Boulevard, here we come. It gets a little dark here, so I will signal. And then I will turn the camera off until we get on to Sunset Boulevard. Okay, under the underpass, the last underpass I go under before I get to Sunset. And the reason Sunset Boulevard is so romantic in one's brain is because of all the things that have been mentioned about it. In fact, what I will do is, if I can just zoom in a little bit, I will, uh, you know, possibly show you the sign that says Sunset, just to make it slightly more authentic. It's coming up there. I think you can just see it above the traffic light. 
or maybe not actually it's a little too small so we will be back in one moment the reward is so enormous to know that all these beautiful people that are sight impaired are going to hear these audio books that myself and a load of other people are recording so once again this is the famous Sunset Boulevard and we'll be back in a moment not that it is of too much interest but just on the left right here is the small donut shop I used to go to but the trouble is with donuts one likes them too much and I went there because it's called the Windsor the Windsor donut shop owned by a Chinese lady from Shanghai in China and I thought how ironic that was uh, that, that that should be like that but look at the palm trees you can see why the great the great deceiver LA is what I call the great deceiver you look at the sunshine, you look at the big houses, you look at the palm trees, and you think that everything in the garden is lovely, when in fact it's quite dire here, with an unemployment up to 11%. Even for myself, work is almost an unimaginable thing now. Anyway, I sincerely hope you're enjoying this little recording of my trip to the Braille Institute, and we will rejoin you a little later. Goodbye. Okay, well here we are at the uh, corner of Edgemont, which is the road before Vermont and this is the hospital that saved my life on two occasions with peritonitis and a long long time ago when I had a very bad abscess in my stomach and I'm sure you don't really need to hear about that but this is the whole of these buildings here are Kaiser Permanente sounds more like a German name to me when I first came here it sounded so very German but there by the way is the uh, Scientology the uh, Ron Hubbard place which uh, brings quite a lot of uh, disturbing thoughts to people here. You see that blue sign there, that's the sign for Scientology, but I'm straightening the camera up just a bit now to show you that that was L. Ron Hubbard Avenue. He's a gentleman, of course, that studs Scientology, and I believe Tom Cruise and, of course, uh, John Travolta uh, were members of that uh, sect. But anyway, here we are now, uh, traffic getting just a little dodgy here. We've got a green light to go on to Vermont. So there we are, look, 4700 Sunset Boulevard is my hospital. We are now turning on to Vermont Avenue, which is where the Braille is. And this, <coughs> the part of the drive I enjoy so much because I know I'm near to where I'm going. And I have a wonderful new book to read at the moment. It's actually for a lady who's dying of cancer. And she wanted to hear an English accent because she felt that she could understand the words a little better. So how flattering that the Braille have given me that assignment. And as I said, this is just Vermont Boulevard or Vermont Avenue. This is where the huge Los Angeles College is down here. And then of course we have Melrose Avenue and Hollywood Boulevard coming off of this particular road. So we'll get a little closer to the Braille and then I will come back and join you. I have to add just a quick story here. Right where we are right now, two months ago, you can see an orange bus in front of me and I tried to go in on the inside lane. Do you see these cars going on the inside lane? Now, I know a lot of you have been driving a long time and some of you have not been driving very long, but I decided two months ago to go in this inside lane to get away from the back of the bus, which was putting all this exhaust into my old car. And as the light turned green for me to pass, I was going to put my foot down to get in front of the bus. And to my utter horror, and it took me three weeks to get over the fear of it, to my utter horror, three people had walked against the red pedestrian light and I was two feet from mowing them down in my extraordinarily heavy Cadillac Coupe de Ville 1973. So now I never ever use that lane. It really frightened me. And right here, as we come up, I will tilt the camera just a bit if I can. I've got to watch myself here. Here is the Braille Institute. You might not see the words, but I'm going into the left-hand lane now. This is the wonderful, famous Braille Institute of Los Angeles. There's the main door there. And I am entering the building in about 15 minutes, so I will keep the camera running, even as we go down into the garage, just to make it uh, slightly more picturesque. And here we are. I turn left excuse me I turn right and then we are at the Braille Institute there we go and this is where I park this is the huge huge Braille Institute good morning to you George you went back to England no no not yet <coughs> I'm doing fine I'm filming my little thing here so this is George ladies and gentlemen this is the uh, this is a crazy guy that tells This is the gentleman that helps me park my car.